Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Raha, Raka, Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And I'll Shalom to the Hofi Lek, so I continually plowing this work, giving diligence to make your calling lecture sure. In all faith, truth, and sincerity, Shalom. Now, um, the topic of this video is going to be entitled Nothing Can Stop the Plagues. All right, in which the plagues that are to uh, come upon this place, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, our Lord, whom these people innerly call God and Jesus, which the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And his son's name, Yahweh Shai, is about to bring down the plagues which are written in the scriptures upon this place, America, which is Babylon the Great, in the scriptures. All right, because this place is long overdue to be destroyed, man. All right, it's, it's long overdue for this place to be taken down and for Esau, which is the, so, the uh, true biblical nationality of the so called white man, to also be taken down as well, man. All right. Because wickedness has ran its course, man. All right, wickedness has has been has polluted the whole entire earth. To which now the only thing that's uh, stopping the momentum from reaching its peak is uh, the men that you see out in the highways and byways, man. That's why the Lord set up the camps in different areas. To break down the strongholds Alright But see the thing is Is that You know these elites the so, Of the so called white man The bankers Are the Rothschilds The, the Rockefellers Gettysburgs DuPonts uh, Oppenheimers The Morgans All the banking families Are, are, are uh, Have an agenda to meet Which is uh, deemed as a new world order agenda to have the whole world under under their control. All right, to have complete control over the people, and the way they're going to do that is by way of the mark of the beast, which is RFID microchip, and that's in which that that prophecy has to come to pass, man. All right, you know it has to come to pass that the the every every single person on the planet Earth has to has to um, accept the mark of the beast technology, which is the RFID microchip. All right, or um. NFC chip or very chip, however it on is is gonna be deemed as because you know here in the States, you know, it's known as the RFID Merkel chip. I know it's uh, over in the in the UK, it's known as the uh, the NFC chip. Alright. But this is this is gonna be the way that they're gonna uh, get the people to be integrated into the system which is uh known as the image of the beast. In Revelation 13 chapter, but the thing is that once they, once these elites have reached that uh, agenda and gotten a, a taste of it, pursuant to the scriptures and, and Job, then the Lord is going to make an intervention, man. All right. But as time goes on, you know, as as these these prophecies, even though they're tearing, or they feel like they're tearing, but when it comes comes to pass, right, it's gonna it's just gonna uh, fly by in an instant, man. All right, because it's gonna when, when these prophecies happen, man, it's gonna happen when these people least expect it. All right, that's why whenever we go out in the highways and byways, you know, we always reiterate what we speak about concerning prophecy. You know, and and you know, you got comments like, "Oh, well, then you guys been teaching this ever since the seventies and the eighties, you know, the nineties." You know, not knowing that that there are certain prophecies in the scriptures that have to be fulfilled before. The coming of the uh, of the other major prophecies was the mark of the beast, of course, uh, martial law, famines, which are pursuing unto the plagues, man. Which leads me back into the title of the video, because once those plagues come upon this place, of America, you know, it's a done deal, man. That's when everything is gonna rapidly start to speed up, and um, we always use the analogy of uh, the toilet, you know. Which, if you flush something, you know, it circles the drain 
until when it gets all the way to the bottom, you know, it goes faster and faster, man. That's that's how America's going to go out. All right, and it's, and it's going out in that way right now, man. You know, it's, it's a slow, slow pace at the moment, and it feels like a slow pace. But as the time goes on, you know, you're going to start to see things speed up. You're going to start to see the times shortening even more than they already have been. All right. And then before you know it, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who these people here call Jesus, is going to return to destroy it and put the final nail in the coffin to this place, man. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. Uh, second entrance, the uh, 16th chapter and the uh, 14th verse. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. See, so it's already um, been proclaimed that these plagues that are written about in the scriptures, they're going to come upon this place just, like, just how it was in Egypt. All right. Because Egypt was uh, set to fall by certain plagues that the Lord has set in store for Egypt. And even today in America, this is, this is why uh, America is, is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, right? Pursuing the revelations. All right, so there's the same plagues that have uh, that hit Egypt, it's also going to hit this place as well, man. All right. So nothing is going to stop the plagues until they come upon the earth, man. All right. Verse 15 said, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till they consume the foundation of the earth. All right. And that fire is kindling right now, man. That's why you see these other nations uh, updating, for lack of a better term, or perfecting their uh, thermonuclear capabilities. Nations like Russia, Iran. And other nations that are aligned with the Russia and also with Iran and also America is, is in that that uh, same boat too. Also uh the ones who are of the EU, NATO, all these nations are getting themselves together for uh for that uh that final hour, which is World War Three. So that fire is being kindled right now, man, and it's when it's released on the planet Earth, nothing can stop it, man. Alright? And the Lord like the Lord said, man, um, actually, let me see if I can get that scripture real quick. Uh, Slocky. All right, there's uh, Luke, the 12th chapter, and starting at the... Uh, Starting at the 49th verse, it gets to the point. It says, uh, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? All right. Because the Lord is saying that if he were to go ahead and send the fire on earth uh, right now at that point in time when he was making a statement, you know, he really wanted to do it, man. All right. But, you know, he knew what uh, had to be done in that time and in that hour because it wasn't time yet. But, the scripture is also saying is that the fire is already being kindled all right so that fire that's being kindled right now is is through these uh other nations beefing up their thermonuclear uh weaponry and then when the time comes that then the lord is going to bring his own brand of fire because see even the lord himself is to bring fire upon this place man actually let me see if i can go get that real quick uh isaiah the uh, 66th chapter. And uh, the 15th verse says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shemi al Shai, will come with fire. All right? In which, when the Most High give his son, Yahweh Shai, the green light to come in and lay this land desolate with fire, then he's going to act upon it, man. Or he's going to come back, right? Like the scriptures say, with fire. And reading on, it says, And with his chairs like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. See? So he's going to come back with chariots. All right? Not clouds. You know? <laughs> I like these guys saying, you know, the, the, uh, the Lord is going to use clouds to come back. Which, I already mentioned it before, you know, last week. You know, while we was at camp. It's like, look, man, if you see a cloud in the sky, right? Who's going to be afraid of a cloud, man? Because even if you walk, you walk in your day and today to day life, 
man, you see clouds in the sky every every day, man. Almost every day. All right. So it's not talking about little clouds, man, or or a whirlwind. Okay. The chariots are known as today as the so-called UFOs. That's, this is why, and they use this, the um, an excuse saying that well. You got you got so-called UFOs from Hollywood. You know you got that from movies and stuff like that. Well, where did where did they get the idea to make to make those movies like that, man? All right, they had to get it from somewhere. Okay, because Esau is not original, man. Everything that he has, he stole and he, and he took and um, used it on the left hand side. All right. Even before this this uh, nation, the so-called nation of America, which America is the enterprise, by the way. Before this place was set up as America, you know, you had sightings of chariots, man. You had people making accounts of, of chariot sightings. Even in today's world, you got people with their smartphones. They can take uh, video footage of chariots in the sky. You know, I just had to throw that out there, man. But uh, going back to the second edge of the 16th chapter, it says... Uh, Verse 16 says, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, return it not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. All right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, wherever the Lord, for every paraphrase, it says, uh, wherever the Lord sent out his word, it shall not return unto him void. All right? Now, uh, Like you. All right, now let's get down to verse uh, verse thirty-seven. It says, "Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son." With two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb. And that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing the birth pains of uh, the plagues, man, that have to come upon America, all right, and other parts of the world, all right, because you're seeing the, the momentum of war being amped up. The mark of the beast technology, which is RFID microchip technology, is being, being, uh, becoming more advanced. It's, it's uh, making its way into society bit by bit. You're seeing... Um, the time of martial law on, on the horizon, race wars, riots, uproars of the people. So all these things that you're seeing, man, these are birth pains, man. All right. Now, Renan says, uh, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. See, so when they when they come, right, when the child come forth, you know, they, they don't slack a moment, man. All right. So same way with the plagues, man. But on verse 38, it says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side all right now i want to grab a couple more precepts Of uh, let's see, Revelations. That's just like you. Uh, I lost my place. It's our uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, in the uh. Start at the seventh verse. It says, How much she had glorified herself. It's talking about Babylon, right? Which you go into uh, Revelation the 17th chapter. Uh, it speaks about mystery, uh, Babylon, the mother of harlots, and our uh, filthiness and abominations of the earth that sat upon a scarlet colored beast. In which that woman that sat upon that scarlet colored beast is talking about America, man, the, the, the great harlot. Because through the philosophies and ideas of America, the whole nations have drunken over wine, like the scriptures say, man. All right, which that wine is uh, that uh, form of democracy that they have pushed out throughout these other nations. 
the way of living. That's why when you go out to these other nations, man, it's no different than what you see here. All right? Because they have fully uh, adopted the ways of America. All right? To the uh, the clothes that the clothes that uh, we wear. You know, to the the clothing, the um, the merchandise, the food, anything that you can think of, man. Because really, America is is a major place of trade. All right, that's why uh, the scripture going to uh, the merchants of the earth being made rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right. Now it says uh, so much torment and sorrow give her. All right. Oh, it's like, let me start from verse seven again. It says how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, and this place has lived deliciously, man. This place has been set up, and you know these people, in their minds and their warped way of thinking, they think that America is never going to go down, man. They think that it's the number, still think that it's the number one place to be, that you know everybody wants to come here. But the thing is that this uh, a torment and sorrow is about to come upon this place, man. All right, you know the pleasures of America, the the. Uh, the so-called good times but those, those times are over man all right the time of pleasure all right and living deliciously those times are over man now it's time for this place to go down all right and this place is ripe for destruction all right it's ripe and it's ready to be picked all right it's ready to be reaped it says uh for she for she saith in the heart i said a queen and I'm no widow and shall and shall see no sorrow. See, and that's these people when they say that, you know, they make that claim, especially these uh Edomites, along with these uh, these high level Edomites, they make that same statement that this place is never gonna go down. So did the other kingdoms, the other kingdoms that, that was set up, they said the same thing, man. And guess what? They went down. All right. Uh verse eight said, Therefore shall a place come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. So when all these things happen, right? Death, mourning, and famine, right? You can't forget about famine. It's, it's the Lord makes sure to put the plague of famine right in the mix. All right? So when these things come, all right, and after they come, right? It says, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the Lord of power who judges her. See? Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab this last precept, the book of uh, Jeremiah. Uh, the 50th chapter uh, Verse 12 right? It says your mother shall be sore confounded She that bear you shall be ashamed Behold the hindermost Of the nations Shall be A wilderness a dry land and a desert See And that mother that have conceived America Is talking about uh, Britain Alright Because out of That region that place where Britain is came America because that's where you had uh, Edomites, you know, so-called explorers that came out of that region that came over to America to, to settle. All right. And then after uh, wars were fought for this land. All right. Then America was established as it is, man. After. Um, 1776. All right, but guess what? It said a mother is confounded. All right, she that, like it says right here, she that bear America will be ashamed. That's why uh, when it comes between America and the UK over in Great Britain, that's why uh, they look at these Americans a different way. You know, like they're uncivilized, they're you know they're dumb, stupid. You know, and also too concerning uh, NATO and the EU. You know, they they now they're uh, turning uh now they're turning aside. They're starting to turn aside from America now. Ever since uh, Donald Trump took office, all right. So all the ones that were with in league with America is starting to turn their backs on America. Even the. Uh, The EU and NATO. All right. Now, verse thirteen says, "Uh, because of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shai shall not be inhabited, but it shall 
be wholly desolate, everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss out of plagues. All right? Because when they look upon this place, they're going to see the destruction, and it's going to be destroyed with a sword destruction, by the way. All right? So when they see it, you know, they're going to they're gonna look at America like, uh, it's, it's hard to explain. You know, whenever you have a disfigured face and, you know, you make that, you know, that, that kind of that kind of sound, man. All right. So that's what it means by uh, the ones that go by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at had a plagues. All right. You know, they don't want to have anything to do with Babylon anymore. After, after these plagues are sent on Babylon, which is America, they don't want they don't want to have anything to do with America anymore. All these other nations that were confederate with America is going to leave it behind. All right. But uh, that's pretty much it on this uh, video, this lesson. You know, it's it a little drawn out uh, more than I wanted to, but that's through the spirit, man. All right. But uh, Lord's will, you members of the Hope We Let, we're defied by this video. Uh, the body of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And until next time, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Raha, Raka, Kwadash. And uh, once again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that still to this very day can.